Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually going to be taking Kiwi and Edward um, to the vet. I have some seeds and in the other bowl I have pellets. Um, so Edward seems to be enjoying being on the bottom. I would actually prefer him perching, but it's okay. Um, our vet visit is just a routine visit. Um, most likely Kiwi's gonna have her hyperkeratosis kind of removed the bulky stuff, the waxy buildup that you see on her sear. That's most likely going to get a bit cleaned up. Other than that, I mean, I don't think that there's going to be much updates. They're probably going to get their nails done and stuff. But I'll let you guys know how our vet visit goes. So yeah, now we're headed off. With an English budget, so now because I have cockatiels, whenever I hold at um, even Kiwi on the oh, it's air, I know, it's, <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like it's really nothing. Find yeah. your ears. <laughs> Very fluffy. Whenever he moths, it's he's making the most mess. <laughs> I know. <laughs> His head is still molting here. Yeah. He, he was. I think he molted a couple, couple weeks ago, maybe even. Is muffin molting? Muffin has molted, but it was rather quick. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't. I, w I expected something more massive. I don't know. Yeah. Plumage-wise, um, I don't know. Maybe birds have different feathers based on their genes mm -hmm. because blossom is so much fluffier. Oh yeah. So whenever blossom molts, it's like it's chaotic. <laughs> it's it's all over the, the place. place. Yeah. yeah. But Edward, because he's also an English budgie, like the feathers, even the small ones, they're quite quite larger too. Mm -hmm. And he has such a pretty color. He does. Whenever he molts. their weight mm. um he still feels in pretty good body condition too, yeah maybe. typically it's kiwi who's the pickier one yeah from all my birds she is yeah one. even with veggies she just not a big fan yeah she's not a big fan like like even with seeds i'm like what kind of bird are you <laughs> like, you're like it's not normal i think her favorite is millet which is very typical but Told you he's had a he has a heart arrhythmia. Oh really? Yeah. Aww. But he do you, he still flies around and all of that, right? He pants a lot. When he does even one yeah. lap, okay. it looks like he's they've done like ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He can't do ten. Like the most he's ever done is two. Okay, because that might be why he has some. Yeah, when because I had Doctor Evan. Yeah. And when because he ended up you know, seeing Kiwi and Edward, I think, mm. previously to you. And when he came, there was literally foam on the um, carrier. Foam? He, um, not foam, sorry. Um, 
mist or how do you call it you know when you breathe into glass yes, you breathe yeah. and then it like yeah, fogs it up and i'm like oh maybe he's just a nervous budgie yeah. but he pants Pants a lot, lot. yeah because that might be why he pants a lot is that um he just when he starts exercising his heart just not able to keep up unfortunately um and it's i know that these english budgies are known for their yeah. issues um but I would say, let's see what he weighs today and kind of go from there, okay? Should, would that of, affect his lifespan? Yeah. Um. But instead of like a regular love dub, love dub, love dub, just like when you hear our heart, mm. what I hear is a da 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 And it's, I can't, um, it's like music. I should be able to, be able to... See a rhythm. Yeah, exactly. And kind of predict when the mm. next heartbeat comes. But for him, I can't. And it's something that, you know, unfortunately, can be quite common. <laughs> I know, I'm just helping you. I mean, he's still bright and alert yeah. and active. And just like people with arrhythmia, some people can mm. live with it and be okay. We just have to be mindful that, you know, activity and stuff like that might just not be up his alley. Like the flying yeah. around like it, flying around and running around. So just be aware of that, okay? Could it also be because of stress? So let's say normally he gets stressed whenever yeah. I bring him to the vet. Could that affect it or it's just a rapid heartbeat? Okay, it's yeah, I, just, I hear many, many birds that are very stressed in here and it, this heartbeat is still regular despite okay. being in here. Okay? okay, so then that's yeah, completely just, different. Yeah, I'll be right back with his wig. We'll kind of go from there, okay? Okay, thank you. No so that isn't the greatest news, guys, but I think um, we'll see how much he weighs. So if, probably if Kiwi also, she's just like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> like, I'm ready. <laughs> My turn. Um, probably Kiwi lost some. I, I think last time she was 36 grams. Could be wrong. Yeah, you know so, you're right. You're right. Oh, yeah. So maybe if she lost two, then it might have a bit more of an explanation. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, whenever I give them the Harrison pellets, I notice that they eat it, but they don't eat enough of it. And um, when I saw Dr. A, he told me not to give seeds at all, mm -hmm. only once a week. Mm -hmm. So most of their diet is veggies and pellets, which I give veggies in the morning, and then after like 3.30, 3, it really changes, I'll give the pellets. Okay. So because kiwi is also very picky, Edward actually isn't. Edward typically eats everything, but I do notice, especially with their pellets and veggies, they don't eat as much. Mm -hmm as what they would with seeds, and I don't know if that's just typical birds, but... Yeah, I think even typical birds yeah. are that they love to gorge on the seeds, where it's with the Harrisons, they're like, oh, I'm not, like, hungry, so yeah. I'm not going to eat. Whereas if the seeds is like, oh, I'm just going to eat them all, right? Yeah. Um, so continue to watch that. Okay. Maybe I'll add a bit more grains because I know yeah, they like grains a exactly, bit more than exactly. like raw vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's like. Humans, I guess, we like carbs they're a so bit picky. more. Yeah. They're so picky. They are. I'm not gonna even lie about it. <laughs> My cockatiels are not like that, but the pickiest of them all is kiwi. This one here. Yeah. You trouble? So I, what are you doing? Oh, Edward's like, I'm just gonna hide in the corner here. Oh, he's so cute. So, um, I do have like a perch inside, um, it's not even a perch, I don't know what you would call it. Like, it's almost like a bark. So she does sometimes, I notice, like, tries peeling her um, waxy pelt up on it. Mm -hmm. So I that's guess fine. that's good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, your nails are sharp. Yeah. I should bring them in more often just for nail clippings. But they're not bad. They're not getting stuck in anything that you notice. Yeah, right? I know. Uh, but while we're here, we can always help them out with that.
Did you have a good weekend? Oh, I had Busy? Bo- I'm trying to go into the vet tech program. Oh, yeah. For Seneca, so it's like boring stuff. Sure. I have to prepare for the other one, entrance exam or something yeah. before they could actually pick a select. Really? Yeah, apparently it's very competitive. Um, so I'm like, okay, we'll still give it a shot. Last um, year I was going to actually... Um, I attend. Were talking about it. Yeah, so last year the issue, I got it included into the assistance program, which is yeah. a certificate one year program. But the vet tech program, I couldn't do the test. I mean, oh. even if I did, I couldn't get in anyway because they kind of screwed up my schedule. Shoot. So last year I was supposed to take chemistry, yeah. but they messed up. So oh, like, no. Only in January. And then I so have to apply. Miss it, right? Yeah, so I could, like, because in high school, although I have my diploma, I don't have chemistry, which is a requirement. Yeah, from just chemistry or regular chemistry. Right? And biology. Oh. But I finished biology with A's, but I mean, they don't really care for that. They still, yeah. I think um, they look at your high school grades mm-hmm. and then they think, I think they look at the average, they're like, okay, if she's good enough, we'll make her do the math test. Yeah. And then the math test, I think, whereas, you know, a lot of people tend to not do well on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I guess it depends on like your prerequisites. Yeah. I mean, I'm taking basic math. I'm gonna take advanced math to help out. Yeah. Just so I could kind of cover my basics, you know, right? Yeah. And make sure that they don't you don't have any other setbacks. Yeah, and if it doesn't work well, I guess I'll just because I know I got accepted to the assistance program, so I'll do assistance and then maybe go do try for tech exactly, again. Exactly. Exactly. So you yeah. kind of get like yeah. a background yeah. and then figure out. But if it doesn't work, I mean, I think it will. <laughs> yeah gotta keep on at it yeah because there's another student in my class and she had a similar experience but Mm -hmm. she did the test twice Mm -hmm. and she couldn't get in sometimes it's so competitive yeah and her average and stuff was good so i remember when i heard her story yeah but there must be other things that they're looking for yeah i'll be right back okay okay Heartbeat sounds better. Okay. I'm gonna go get her weight and I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. Can you guys see the fog? I was actually explaining it to Dr. Yi as well. There is that little bit of fog, and right now it's kind of even evaporating. And as you can see, it evaporated, but um, Edward seems to be having some trouble with um, his breathing. back from the vet um unfortunately i kind of got news i wasn't expecting but you know their nails and their beaks are all looking very nice they lost both of them a bit of weight edward was 49 grams but now he is 44 kiwi was 36 grams but she is now 34 so kiwi didn't lose much but edward lost a bit more when Dr. Yi was doing um, an examination of Edward, which he was first, she told me that Edward has um, an arrhythmia. So his heartbeat, in Edward's case, his heartbeat is irregular. Edward's life expectancy will be affected, so his life expectancy will not be as long. Um, And, I mean, obviously I'm here trying to make everything as educational as possible, but it also has to be truthful. So, Edward will not have a very long life. Now, I kind of knew, like, I wasn't extremely surprised that 
you know, Edward won't live so long. And the main reason was because Edward is an English budget. Now, I don't know if you guys know a lot about English budgets, but they do not have a regular lifespan as a regular budget. I say regular, but this could also be fancy budgies. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much we could do. She did say that, like, typically they would do, like, uh, x-rays, um, you know, and an ultrasound, uh, see if medications work. But Edward is a very small bird. Um, those are not options and even if those were options medications will not prevent it on such a young bird like such a small bird if anything it's actually very risky to put such a small bird on you know such a very um, heavy medication so you know we're just gonna keep an eye on it there's really nothing we could do um, Hopefully, what I aim to do for the future for Edward is not putting him in so much stress. As you can see, Edward didn't even fly and... Uh, hopefully, this is in focus. Edward didn't even fly and... I don't know how much it's showing on the camera, but he is actually panting. I was more surprised that he had a heart condition rather than his life expectancy not being that long because... I know a lot about budgies. I already knew English budgies don't live as long. So that part wasn't surprising to me. I was more, you know, surprised that he had a heart condition. Um, even budgies with, uh, English budgies without heart conditions, they could still live shorter lives. So him having a shorter life, I already knew when I bought him. Like day one, I knew about it. Like there was no surprises. I don't know, maybe for some of you guys, if they haven't had many experiences with birds it's new information but English budgies just in general they don't live as long but you know I don't want to make this such a depressing thing other than his you know slight heart condition Edward is perfectly fine he seems to be having a perfectly good life now what Dr. Yi did suggest is that um, I monitor his weight so for one month uh, once a week we're gonna monitor his weight and we're gonna try raising it so that means Edward would be getting a lot of grains so will the other birds so I'll make a lot of grains Edward really likes grains so does kiwi so I think he'll eat a lot of it this is the end of the video I really want to make this educational also I really want to bring you guys along with me with my future vet visits as well because it also gives you guys a nice perspective on what to expect in avian vets um, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.